Hello everyone, welcome to episode 13 of my climbing journey. Uh, right now I'm just going to warm up some of my favorite V-Zeros and V-Longs and tell you what I like about them. Alright, so I like this V-Zero because it has really big, nice holds, and there are a lot of them. Which means you're not really forced into any positions or moves, and you're free to practice any movement you like. Um, that's what I use it for. I basically use it like a technique board. Yeah, so I can practice all the different techniques. It's real nice. So the first part of this black view one is just okay, you know, where you're traversing, uh, swapping feet. I mean, alternatively, you could also, you know, step through a crossover. Those are options as well. Honestly, actually, I might like this first part better than I thought. Yeah, the foot swapping is... It feels really natural. I think it is a good thing to learn early on. It's good for a V1 to teach. But I also like uh, the big moves. Like, right around here, you have to really reach. It teaches you kind of how to be more dynamic. And look, that next move is huge. Get your feet again. Go again. Then up here. You don't have footholds, so it teaches you how to use the wall and smear. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's why it's one of my favorite V1s. Alright. So I like this blue V1 because, first of all, it's really steep and it teaches you how to maintain body tension. But second of all, it's, uh, it's, but holds off to the side to also teach you to uh, change the direction of pull. So it's not just straight down, but it's off to the side. I like that. That was like the worst way you could have climbed. But yeah, I hope that showcased why I like it at least. Alright, so I think today I'm going to focus on this green V3. Um, I'm really going to focus on getting this one move that I've had trouble with. So I think the problem is going for the big part. Maybe I have to go for the smaller, lower part with my left hand. I'm not sure. Oh, that worked. I still don't know what to do there. Uh, I have to figure out that, that part. I don't know. Okay, so I think the key is keeping my right foot in.
Still don't know what to do. Maybe I should try it dynamically. I don't know. I'm using my knee. I don't think that's correct, but kind of got me there. Just gotta somehow gotta shift my weight to the right somehow. Not sure how though. That's one way to finish it, but I don't think that's right either. But maybe if I can link that all together, that'll work. Oh. I'm gonna try this from the bottom. My biceps are really sore from that last finish though, so let's see. I can't do that move when I'm tired. I'm gonna be real recreate that finish that I did last time. Especially from the bottom, that's gonna be real hard. This is kind of radical. Just gotta link it all together now from the ground.
That's it, man. So close. One more move. Okay, that's not a good start. Oh. <laughs> took so long. Finally did it after like four sessions, an hour and a half this session. A lot of hard work went into that one. Glad I did it though. All right, so now I'm gonna try this orange V3. I couldn't even start uh, the other day. The reason I'm trying is because someone showed me this beta with the heel hook. Oh, thank you. Whew. That was hard. Okay, so I'm really glad to have gotten that orange V3. Um, that wasn't my first attempt today. I was actually trying that heel hook move that I saw the other person do, testing that beta. But the only attempt that I caught on camera was the one that I just did. <laughs> but yeah, really glad to have gotten it. Now I'm going to move on to the green V3 called no jugs allowed and if you look at the holds they're like these tiny little things like all of them basically just look like this um luckily it's slab so there's that for you but i have no idea how i'm supposed to first get across the wall and then i have to somehow get up and over the wall so this is going to be a challenge and i think it's going to be my new project Okay, even starting this thing is hard. Maybe I should turn on this one. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, well, I don't even know where to go from like here. Oh. Oh. Wow, this hurts your fingers quite a bit. I can't even get on this part. Okay. <laughs> Gotta rest up and try again. Okay. This move, this start is just so bad. Pretend I can get that move. Oh, I 
actually don't know what I'm supposed to do in this area here. I'm gonna try to read it again, figure it out. <clears throat> oh, Ah. I'm just gonna try it from over here. Okay, hold on, let me get my feet on. Okay. So I think you're supposed. Oh, I think you're supposed to get your right foot here. Okay. I actually just can't do like any moves on this boulder. I think I'm gonna give up on it for today. But perhaps I'll try again in the future. Alright, I'm gonna try this yellow V4 one more time. I think only one more time because I'm running out of energy. That green and orange are super physical. Took a lot of energy out of Why does this foot feel so bad? It used to feel good. Um, I actually don't know what happened to it. Maybe I just need to brush it, but I don't know. For now, I don't feel like I can get to where I was before. Maybe I'll try brushing it, see if that changes anything. All right, I brushed it. Let's see if that makes any difference or if I'm just a complainer, which I very well could be. I feel like I should be able to hold that. I really don't know. I wonder if I can get my. Oh, this doesn't feel good. I don't know. I'm gonna give up on it, I think. Alright, so I think it's getting to the end of the session, so I'm just gonna try this blue V2 that I was struggling with before. Um, I'd, I'm really sad it took me a couple of attempts last time, and I'm wondering if I could maybe do it in one attempt today. So that'd be super cool. I did that. Okay. Ow. My left foot slipped, man. I'm so sad right now. It also chalked onto my eye. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm delirious. I think this is a sign to go home. That's going to end today's video, everyone. Bye.